Welcome back to the workshop on another wet day in the north. The eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that the workshop's looking rather more full than usual, but that's a story for another day. Today's mission is a simple one. Get those old subframe bushes out of the subframe so that I can tuck it back into the car once it's all cleaned up and get it jacked back up and on. In order to do that, I need to make a tool to do it. You can buy one for about between 30 and 50 quid, but I figured I've got a load of scrap metal around why not knock something up that I know is going to work because I'm not entirely convinced I was choosing the right tool on eBay. Unfortunately, in order to make a new tool, I need access to my welding bench and my welding bench is currently occupied by the broken motor and the old gearbox. So I'm going to loosely throw the old motor together, get my scruffs on before that, shift everything off and actually unload the car with a few bits to try and reorganize things and tidy up a little bit as well. Still a lot of tidying to do in this place. It's kind of hard because I've got three cars worth of stuff when it re really there should only be one car's worth of stuff. Um, but once that car's on the road and I finally get around to selling loads of these bits, there will be less stuff in here. Anyway, I brought in this, which is boo, yeah, this side actually, wouldn't I? This is a, just a little frame I made for testing my setup. I've got a, um, a mount somewhere for a throttle pedal. You've got your ignition switch and a couple of buttons for forward and reverse, the switch for setting forward and reverse, buttons for simulating brakes or cruise control, whatever, that you can plug into your inverter, your zombie board, whatever it may be. So that's saved a bit of space, stacking the inverters up. I've shifted the new motor uh, up here for now. Not sure of the weight rating of these um, shells, but I think it'll be all right. And I've got a bit more space um, to work on. I've tucked the uh, oh, the IS300 uh, drive unit down there. And over here, an unwrapped pack, or rather a wrapped package, which is the um, spare legs for a workshop, or rather my workbench at home, uh, which I never used. Uh, I'm planning to stick some casters on those uh, and make a sort of mobile test rig for a uh, motor, because it's a pain in the ass lugging these things around. Anyway, the important thing is that my welding bench is now clear, so I can start making a tool to pull these bearings. Bearings? Bushes out. And yeah, tools and bushes, too many opportunities for innuendo. These are the bushes that have got to come out. It's about, what's that diameter? 65 millimeters. So my plan is to make a sort of frame which grips the side of this tube here, or rather sits over the side of this tube and allow me to run a threaded rod down through here. Uh, and then when I spin the rod and um, pull a nut on the other end up, uh, a nut and wash on the other end up, and just basically pull the whole thing out of the tube. May need to use some heat. That thing's been in there for 25 years, 23 years in this case, actually 25 on the other one. Um, so it's not going to come out very easily. As you can tell, it's shabby and knackered and uh, it was an MOT advisory last time, so got to come out one way or another. Picked up some M12 threaded rod, some washers and some nuts on the way here. Obviously, if you want to weld these, you'll have to grind the coating off. They didn't have any plain steel ones, unfortunately. Uh, and dug through my scraps box and found this slightly tired. It's been <laughs> welded and unwelded and taken off a few times. Um, bit of box section. The Total length of the bush I need to remove is about seven centimeters. So I've marked out two 10 centimeter lengths. Actually, I might cut it slightly longer than that to give me a bit of wiggle room. Um, in fact, yeah, I'm gonna add the width of this to that. So I've got 10 centimeters plus two on each length. Then cut them on the diagonal probably and uh, weld them into a U-shape. So I've got a U-shape with, with the threaded bar coming down the middle, reinforced with this if needs be. Uh, and going down through the bush. Ah, you'll see it when I made it.
So I've packed together my little U shape. Look at the welds on the left, don't look at the welds on the right. Um, and what you can see is it's slightly too wide. It's not sitting on the rim, it's going over it. So you just need to narrow that slightly so that it sits on that rim there uh, and then weld it up uh, and look at putting a hole in the top. So there we go, not pretty but functional. I've ground down the welds, just mostly just to check there's good penetration, which there seems to be. Um, I've added a couple of steps there just so it sort of locates uh, in both directions. It shouldn't slip around. Now I've got to add a hole in the middle. Um, obviously this is only 20 mil bar, 20 mil um, box. So an M12 hole through the middle is going to make um, quite a difference to the sort of structural rigidity. Um, so I've just got this off cut um, of plate, which I'll add to the top to reinforce it uh, and stick a hole through there. There we go, a bit rough, but it's there. Um, it's got the plate on top, some big heavy welds holding it on. In the interest of time, I've not filmed everything. Um, it's parents' evening tonight, so I've got precisely one hour before I have to leg it out the door. So, last bit then, just need to get the threaded rod uh, welded up. We need some way to spin that, maybe with the um, Ugga Dugga. We'll try it manually first, don't want to rip anything apart. Um, and we need a... Well, no, that's it really. We need to cut it to the right length and weld some nuts on. I know I said I wasn't going to use the Ugga Dugga, but time's pressing on. Um, unfortunately, and I kind of predicted this, um, what happens when you turn this is that the me metal centre of the bush comes out uh, and the rest of it doesn't. So what I need is a disc that's going to do the whole circumference of the bush and pull the whole lot out. And so what I've started doing is cutting down um, the top of an old spring hanger. Um, I've got it down to a rough circle shape, uh, which means I can now stick it in the lathe at home. Um, it's bolted up into this 12 mil here, so it'll be nice and centered. I can stick that in the lathe at home, turn it down to exactly, it needs to be about 55 millimeters. I'll take an exact measurement off the new bushes first. Um, and then this will be complete and I can pop these bushes out. Again, as I say, albeit perhaps with a bit of heat. So unfortunately that's it for today, short episode. Didn't quite get done what I wanted to get done. I really, really wanted to get those bushes out today, but the tool's nearly there. And five minutes on the lathe at home, I'll have the bush sorted. The bush sorted, the tool sorted, uh, and then they should pop out. Was it worth saving myself 30 quid? Probably not. Um, it may just be better buying the tool in future, but I learned some stuff. I got to do some welding for the first time in ages. And now I've got a tool that will be useful on these Z3s forevermore. Uh, and I can hang on to. Um, if you like this, please do subscribe. There'll be more bodywork stuff coming on the uh, on the car soon, uh, and more electrical stuff probably as well. I need to get that all fixed up. Uh, but right now, it's very much about the restoration, getting it ready for this new body, and then starting to fit that body. And at some point, there'll be a new playlist, a new project. Uh, what I'm calling uh, Richard. Um, because it's going to be a car transporter, Richard Porter. If you're into Smith & Sniff, you'll know who that is. And so, yeah, Project Richard over there. Um, first thing I've got to do is get it underneath here um, because Vince's second project is coming in, uh, albeit perhaps only for the short term. So I've got to make some space in the garage. Um, so it'll be a bit of a mission getting this car up onto that trailer uh, for a while but at least it means I've got a trailer to take that to the scrappy when I've cut all the bits that I want off and I've transferred the old body over and everything else. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch you next time. Episodes every Monday and Thursday when real work allows. Bye-bye.